fire. Fire, fire. Uh, fire extinguisher. A fire extinguisher, there's a fire! There's a fire! Hey man! Hey, yeah, everything's going good. How are you? Doing good. Oh, very good. Fire! There's a fire! A fire extinguisher is what I need! Found the, the fire extinguisher. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And that's Peter. Hey guys. And today we're talking about the firefighting drone. Now you guys saw the uh, little demonstration. It was completely fictitious, obviously. Why would I crash? Uh, but <laughs> things can happen. <laughs> Sorry. That was but funny. things can happen that cause fires. And uh, so Peter, why don't you tell us a little bit about why I built this. Honestly, uh, a lot of this comes from like, you know, drones and all, all the popularity in like TV and media nowadays. I, you see these things doing a lot of bad things like sort of, sort of like putting, you know, guns on them or chainsaws. As fun as some of that may be, I want to find a more practical purpose that could be used in the real world applications for this where you might see these things in the near future. So because you love fire so much, you'd want to give people a way to put out fires. Yep. It's basically like any other tool. I mean, you can use it for good or evil. I choose to use it for good today, so let's go try it out. Today he, he does. Today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yes. We're going to put it to the test today. We have, uh, the, ideally what you said you want to design this for would be something like a, a transformer fire yep. or a fire maybe on a to cell put tower. A, put out a fire yeah. where exactly. no man can go. Like, like say you crash your plane on a roof or something, you call the fire department, I can't get up there, I don't have a ladder to get up there. You know, let's say you can't really climb up on the roof real fast to get a fire extinguisher up there. So call the fire department, have these things sent up, come to your address real fast. And really, we don't know how practical this is. Yep, uh, this is in its infant stages, right? Actually, this is the very first prototype. This is the first oh, cool. and still the last one. It's still kind of like real rough cut together. I have a lot of things and changes I would do if I were to rebuild this again. It would be a lot bigger, carry a bigger fire bottle, and not be so toyish. Peter wants bigger motors. He's going to get bigger motors. Uh, we got a ladder out there mm -hmm. with a trash can on top, yep. right? Yeah. And you're going to light a fire on top of that. Yeah. And the whole idea is two-man operation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to try to see how quickly we put it out. Yep. Simulated fire like Let's say we can't get to it. We're gonna go up there and put it out with the firecopter. Cool. All right, let's try it out. All right. All right, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this. Basically why I'm giving you this trigger is it's actually kind of hard to fly this and this thing is not super tuned in. Okay. So I put the extinguisher on an external switch so I concentrate 100% on flying the machine, so I'm gonna have you trigger it. So Peter loves taking his MZ24 and he- Voiding the warranty. And voiding the warranty. There's holes drilled in this thing now with auxiliary uh, servo ports coming off. And this is the same uh, This is the same switch we used during the uh, yep. bomb drop episode of the- uh, The Fly Zone Sensei. The Fly Zone Sensei, when we flew with our feet. So, so I gotta watch this through the- Through the monitor, yep. Okay. And when it's right, you click it. Now okay. the first load we have in here is all powder. All right. And so I've noticed the thing with the fire extinguisher, in the powder when you fire it, you want to fire it all the way because the, the valve gets clogged with powder okay. and you can't refire it so like we do with the liquid. We'll do the liquid we, next. Once we think we got it. You just hold it down out. and you stay it down until it's all gone. Okay, cool. Because you can't restart it when you fire it. Now Josh, okay. you're going to be the one taking it out there and you're going to light it, right? I'm going to start the fire. You're fire. going to start the fire. Fire. <laughs> oh my fire. gosh, we had to bring that in, huh? Okay. So I'm going to watch over here, right? Yep. You're going to watch over here. When it looks good, you're going to click that. Josh, don't catch yourself on fire, man. Okay, thanks, Dad. You're the right. only, only funny part so of this, this show. This is hot right now. Do not click this because I'm going to arm this in a second. I don't know. That might be pretty funny. All right. So, yeah. All right, so don't do this. Yep. Yeah, don't do that. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try on the laser. Everything's better with lasers. 
So the laser is actually the point, right? Yep, this works better in the evening, but it's like, like high noon right now, so it's not gonna work as good. But you can still actually see it because it's a it's a 100 watt 100 milliwatt laser wow it's okay. actually a pretty bright laser all right cool so that's ready to go so let's say we set this plant on fire okay no problem no problem at all well this could be the last time you ever see me it's been fun <sighs> and obviously kids don't try this at home. This is only for trained professionals, which doesn't explain why we're doing it. Just a little bit of love there. You guys ready? Yep. Okay. And I think it's burning. All right, so you got the fire. I can see the nozzle, that's awesome. Nice. All right. All right, we're gonna let it burn a little bit more, you know, so the fire's more intense. All right, it looks pretty good. Let's go over there now. Hang on, wait for my cue. And now. That's crazy! <laughs> a little closer. Ah, uh, we need a little more. Ah. Oh. Hey, I think, oh no, it's still going. Yeah, the one, that's still, yeah, that's only powered with the powder. I think this one died. <laughs> oh, that plane's not coming back. Yep. Was that too far away? Uh, the wind was, the wind was a little wrong. It's sending lots of smoke into the atmosphere. There's a really good reason why we're not doing this in California. Yeah, yeah it's still burning. <laughs> All right, we should probably go put that real quick. That's really going. How much alcohol did you put in there? Just a, the half of it. Fill the can. Yeah. It used to be full. Okay, so that didn't, that didn't yep. work. That was fairly <laughs> underwhelming. It was basically like all the times when I try this ahead of time. I just want to show you guys how it looked with the dust because the dust is honestly really cool. That's like a stock fire extinguisher bottle. And honestly, it didn't really work very good. It's very wind played a big yeah. factor in it. Too. It's very susceptible to wind, it blows everywhere. Yeah. The distance is short. So what I ended up doing is concocting a mix of uh, baking soda, water, and soap, okay. and getting something to stick and spray. Cause that's the nice thing with this. You can also turn it on and off many, as many times as you want. So you can hit it, soak it a little bit, and just come back and just keep tapping that and just get it just right. Cause you, you have a limited amount of shots, but you can take them as many times as you want. And, right. and the wind is a big factor, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But this, not as much with water. Yeah, this this uh, like a spray, it's like squirting where you want it, where you okay. want it to go. Yeah. Cool. So it's way more doable and controllable. So we're gonna try this again. Gotta, so do I have to go out? You gotta put your life yep. at risk again, man. Be safe. You gotta burn this other airplane. Don't worry, if you catch on fire, we'll put you out. Okay, it's on fire. All right. Okay, coming in on the target. Let me swing around this way. Closer, steady. All right, good. Start tapping. Nice. There you go. Hang on. Get it. All right, stop. Let me reposition you. Nice. I think you got most of it. 
There might be some burning underneath the ladder. Right. Cool. Which out. could need our attention. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> It was good. That it's was far more right. doable. Oh no. <laughs> all right, so all we need to do is go back and reload. So that was a little bit more effective. Yep. Yeah. Water's yeah, the, the water's definitely better, and it's amazing when we were hitting the can, mm -hmm. it's like this white foamy crud. Yep. Basically, it's kind of like, yeah, just like a real sticky foam. It's like a mixture of soap, baking soda in the water. And basically, the nice thing about that versus the powder what, with, with what I learned from this is when you spray that on the, the foam surface or whatever surface you spray on, it kind of sticks a little bit better. And honestly, I see this at like airports too, where like the fire trucks, you know, they shoot foam and whatever. Yeah. Because it doesn't, it's not like the powder which just blows up and blows off. Because like the first plane died, it, we soaked it, we hit it with powder, but the powder blew off and all that. So the fire was allowed to continue to burn. So with the foam stuff, it kind of stuck on there and then the fire soon fizzled out. And we still have a little bit of plane left to speak of. Yep, so maybe someone lived through that if that was a real airplane. Now, now, now baking soda, what does it do when it hits the fire? Uh, I think baking soda is supposed to put it out. I think when baking soda is heated, it releases carbon dioxide. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm pretty sure I read this on the internet, so it must be true. You had a lot of test footage of, mm -hmm. of you trying to put out different things. And, and for the past month or so, uh, if you guys are watching Periscope regularly, you'll see Peter quite a bit trying different mixtures and different concoctions to see what happens yep. when he hits it. Some of them are, are pretty darn effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is a combination of about a two or three weeks worth of testing. Just trying to get that sweet spot just to make it look a little bit less toy-like and maybe this could exist one day in the real world. Who knows? If one of you guys want to take this concept and run with it, that'd be awesome. I'd like to see what you guys do with it because this is just the, the first Gen 1 prototype that I tried. And honestly, I don't get paid to develop fire extinguishers, so <laughs> I just piddle around with what I could find at Walmart. Well, there you go. That's cool, man. Good job. Yeah, very good. Now, guys, if you're wondering how Peter did it, there's a lot of technology that went in here um, as far as lifting the hefty platform. And also, if you want to take it to the next step, there's going to be an additional video showing exactly how he built it, what he put in it, uh, giving you guys all the keys that he used to get success. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. And thanks, you guys, for watching it. And if you're new to Flight Test, we release a new video every Monday and Wednesday. And you can also go to flighttest.com. There's all kinds of cool stuff there, helpful articles. There's a forum there, just all kinds of fun stuff. So check it out. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.